All right, what's going on everybody? Another day, another property tour. So today we are here in the city of Summerlin. And we're going to take a look at this model, the Sequoia. It is 2,662 square feet. Two story, four bedrooms. Study, loft, two and a half bath, two car garage. Outdoor living. You have an option from a five to a six bedroom. We are here in uh, the west side of the Las Vegas Valley, Summerlin. And the uh, builder here is Taylor Morrison. All right, let's go look inside here. I love that uh, stone. Love this keypad here. As we come into the entryway here, you have the 12 by 24 on the tile. You have storage. Oh, here's are your samples here. All your different collections that come standard, not bad. I'm gonna turn this thing around. Castellana at Red Point. Here are some of your options that you can do. Fifth bedroom, laundry room, more of a spa shower type. You don't really have that too many options as far as structurally, but the design studio, you have a few. Wow, I love this open floor plan. This one's a little bit nice. I love the colors too. HOAs are $48 a month. And you also have the subdivision. I'm sorry, I was burping or about to burp. Gives you a total of $46 a month. A lot premiums typically going to be around $80,000. Let's take a look at this kitchen here. You do have an option to make this all cabinets here. I definitely would have skinned this. Gives you more of that custom look. Beautiful. Oh, the uh, base price, starting price, $608,900. Nice undermounted sink here. Forty-two upper cabinets. Let's take a look at what we got on this side. I love these windows here. I'm gonna sit down for just a second here. Kind of just enjoy the open space. Oh, looks like we have a thermostat. You got straight edge, three inches. Orange peel texture. Let's go outside to this sliding glass door. We have a six foot slide. As you can see, a lot of these uh, backyards will have these uh, retaining walls here. The good news is that you could do something really nice by, oh my God, it's raining. It's literally raining right now. Wow, interesting. Today's gonna be a cold day. Love the uh, cover patio here. Love the colors of the uh, decor, definitely pops. All right, let's go back inside. So here's your bedroom, one downstairs for guests, which is I definitely would uh, option out to have this for sure. Okay, let's take a look at the closet here. Get your standard two by eight here. The 
only thing about this one, they share the bathroom with the guest. So as your family member that lives in this room can't really make too much of a mess here. But I guess if this is more for a guest, hmm, I guess that would work. So this is where you're gonna be your formal dining. Here's a two-car garage, but we're gonna go upstairs. Hmm. My legs are burning. Oh, I love these windows. Look at that. This is uh, one of the uh, popular models that everybody pretty much chooses. And I love this little Juliet balcony here. So this kind of wraps around. As you can tell, I'm kind of out of breath as I'm wearing this mask. Upper cabinets, not bad. So here's room number two. Pretty decent size. I mean, there's really nothing to it. It's just a room. Other than the decorations here. But you can just tell they're using 2x6 to build these homes. Oh, I'm sorry, 2x4s. So we have one, two, three, four and five downstairs, wow. Love this loft. So we have one bedroom here, bathroom here. Does this one have its own bathroom? No, it doesn't. So uh, the downsize on, the downfall on this one is that on the options, I believe we can do another bathroom because you can't have three bedrooms sharing one bathroom. That's just way too much. You should always have one bathroom to two bedrooms minimum and also have a sink. No more, I'm sorry, not minimum, maximum two bedrooms. No more. Oh, look at this right here. I love this. It's just nice and open, but I really do love these windows here. It brings in a lot of light. Let's take a look at this. This is just a queen size bed here. You got eight foot doors, nine foot ceilings. And this one, you got a transfer grill with this builder. Not bad for the uh, loft area. Oh, it's gonna be a cold day today, folks. Wow. Now if we look down here, you have your tune one. You got your cat six, cat six and your coax cable. Right above you got your air filters here. You got your speakers, your ceiling fans, or ceiling fan. These rooms are not, not that large. Now let's go take a look at the primary here. Oh, well, here's your secondary or your second thermostat here. So we have a dual zone, which is nice. Now your entryway to the primary, your attic access is right here. Now this is not a bad size. This is very large and I'm very happy with this. 
On this one, we have a five rocker switch, which I'm not too sure why. Definitely would have been a four. All right, let's go take a look at this bathroom here. I love this wood tile here. Got the beautiful spa shower. Get the Corin countertops. Also, um, if you guys haven't had a chance to check out the uh, merch, uh, check out the merch. Support the channel by buying some merch. All right, let's see what we got on this side here. Now, if you guys want more information about this property, give us a call. We definitely love the opportunity to earn your business. This is a 48 inch smart panel box by Acoustics Design System, which we have a great relationship with them. And take a look at this. This is the reason why I love Acoustics Design Systems. If you take a look, look how clean everything is, right? So you got a bunch of Cat 6, Coax, so this home is highly equipped. You also got the Smurf tube down to the D-Mark. And I love how they pre plumb this for future wiring, right? So here's the thing. When you build a custom home, in all your rooms, make sure you pre plumb a 2-inch PVC. Because if you ever have to get anything down into your walls, they're starting to do this now. And I, we did a uh, collaboration with them. And I thought that was like a genius idea. Now, that's going to be more for your high-end custom home. So just keep that in mind. The quality and craftsmanship on here is not bad. But remember, you're definitely going to have to hold them accountable. Uh, you have an option to put a door here. I definitely would put a door here. Here, too much. Uh, a lot of people don't put doors anymore. But you do have that option. All right, guys, you guys know how we like to finish this video. Don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel. Comment. Let me know what your thoughts are about this property. Also, if you guys haven't had a chance to visit LVHomeExperts.com, it is a great website to get started. And uh, we definitely would love the opportunity to earn your business. And... Uh, all I can say is just thank you so much for all the subscribers. I know I say this time and time again. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. I really do. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day, folks.